Anyway, so I just got back from the mall and I got a new package today and it's the best kind of package. It's from Lush Kitchen. So I figured I'd do an unboxing of this amazing gift set because it's amazing. And since it's a festive gift set, I figured I'd put on a festive shirt that says, Let's get slayed. Ha. Ha. So this is the gift set that I've got. It's called It's Santa and it came out a couple weeks ago in Lush's Kitchen and it's got a few products that didn't come out this season for Christmas that was out like previous years. So I figured I'd pick it up plus it came with this awesome knot wrap. So let's start the unboxing. So first of all, like all the other gift sets, this is the gift tag. And these are the four products that come inside that I'm going to go through right now. So first, let's look at this knot wrap. Ooh, it's kind of cool. Ooh, what the heck is that? That's the sticker. So it's kind of cool, but kind of creepy at the same time. Maybe in my next video I'll have this as the background instead of this knot wrap. Who knows? Anyways, so let's look at the box. Oh crap, a peanut fell out. <laughs> There's peanuts in the other box. There's peanuts in this box. They've used so many peanuts at Lush. So the first thing I see is the Polaroid, which is officially my first Lush Kitchen Polaroid. Yay! So thank you to you guys who made this. So. Okay, so the first thing I see is hot toddy shower gel, and it's a little dusty, so I'm assuming something got messy in this box. That's kind of scary. So it says warm up warm, wow, okay, wrap up warm in a spicy shower. So it kind of sounds iffy to me because I'm really picky about my smells at Lush. Ooh, that does smell spicy. Muy caliente. Ooh, that's okay. It's like big red gum. It smells cinnamony, but spicy cinnamony. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. It says, it's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. <laughs> this spicy winter tonic is sure to turn up the heat and raise the spirits. So it's really, I can see how spicy it is. Oh, and that's kind of cool. There's like glitter on the bottom. I wonder if it's supposed to be stuck to the bottom, but We'll see. I might try it, but I might just get rid of it. <laughs> Next thing I see is a little Santa. It's called the Satsum Satsumo Santa. Satsumo? And he's a bath bomb. It's as fruitier than a little... I cannot read today, apparently. Maybe I'm just a little too excited about this gift set. It says, fruitier than a festive tipple. What the F is a tipple? But holy crap, that smells so good. It does smell fruity. I can't name the fruit though. It's not orange. Is it orangey? It's a little orangey and... Oh, look at his little butt. <laughs> or is that his sack? I don't know. Okay, that came out wrong, but... Kind of like orangey, but like there's another fruit in there. It's like almost like passion fruity or something. That smells really amazing. Ooh, my voice just strained. Okay, so next I see this, and I've seen a lot of people talking about this bubble bar on Instagram. It's called the Marzaban. Marzaban? Marzaban? I don't know about that one. It says, as sweet as Christmas cake and perhaps even more satisfying. So I'm assuming it has marzipan smell. So is this, does, is this supposed to smell like snow cake? But it's kind of, the smells are like all mixing in here. It smells okay, but I don't know. It's not my favorite scent in the box yet. So the last thing in the box that I see, oh no, it got crushed a little, is a little gingerbread house. It's a little messed up in the side, but it's okay, it's not bad. It's adorable. And it's literally called the gingerbread house bubble bar. 
and says the crumbs of this spicy blend will lead you to a delightfully festive bath. Oh, it smells lovely. I smell kind of a, it smells sweet and I smell the spiciness. It's definitely this bottom orange part that's the spicy. And this is, the icing part smells sweet. But it's, it's so cute. It's got little sprinkles on it and a little chimney. Actually, this is probably, this and the knot wrap is the entire reason why I bought this box to begin with. So I'm so excited that he came back not too damaged. I wish there was more in this box, but that's it for this unboxing. Unfortunately, that was really short. So along with this order, I got a crap ton of samples, including the baked Alaska soap, which is amazing and lemony and I love it, and curly whirly, which is for curly hair, which I have, and I just wanted to try it before I bought it, because I have really thick curly hair and I was hoping that this shampoo would help, and it's really coconutty, and hopefully it works. It looks like rice, like sticky rice. This unlabeled one, which is actually Santa's lip scrub, which I have a full size of, and it smells like Coca-Cola. It's really amazing. It actually really works though, if anyone's interested. Next I got Santa Baby Lip Tint, which is, you see that red little thing? I'm gonna try that out, hopefully it looks good. Maybe I'll buy the full product. This is the Passion Fruit Lip Balm. Ooh, that's a good, ooh, that is really, that smells like passion fruit, holy crap. Ooh, that hit me like a ton of passion fruit bricks. So next is the strawberry bombshell lip balm. Ooh, that's so sweet smelling. Oh, it smells so good. Ooh, okay, I might have to buy that. That's it for this Lush order. Thanks for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Lush stuff and who knows what else. I hope you all have a happy, happy, happy holidays and a happy new year.